Welcome to Klondike Goldbush National Historical Park. The, the park was designated in 1976 and there are four units. One is in the Pioneer Square area of Seattle. So here in Alaska we have the other three units of the park. Downtown Skagway, which matches the Skagway Historic District. We have about 25 historic buildings in Skagway. And then there is the White Pass unit. And then the other unit in Alaska is the Dai and Chilkoot Trail area. Dai was the, the former town site, 8,000 people, now a ghost town. And then the Chilkoot Trail is the 33 mile trail that goes over from Dai to Lake Bennett. Welcome to the park and we hope you enjoy. So here in Skagway we have uh, we offer historic walking tours around town and we all start at the visitor center at Broadway and Second and we all end up here at the Moore House. The headline reads gold 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 68 inch men on the steamer Portland stacks of yellow metal. Each uh, of us interpretive rangers we have the opportunity to develop a walking tour based on a theme of our own choosing. So we have someone that focuses on economics. Another ranger does a, a wonderful comparison between gardens and, and the history that was taking place. Uh, my tour, I talk about dreams, uh, the dreams of individuals that came up here and how that helped build and sustain Skagway. I'll introduce you to a few more individuals that uh, followed the gold rush and ended up staying up here following their dreams. And we'll see how that affected Skagway and also the nation. As Alaska's most visited national park, um, we have the opportunity to, to share the historic district of Skagway with up to 10,000 visitors per day in the summertime. Skagway has a fantastic community, um, both in the summer and in the winter. And in the summertime, we see summer workers, which uh, is wonderful. And then we see cruise ship passengers, which is also wonderful because it's sort of like traveling without having to leave. We get this new blood, um, these new ideas, these new perspectives each summertime. In terms of the park too, we, we have returning rangers and then we have new rangers. And that really refreshes our perspectives. I think of history and of the Klondike Gold Rush. I think what makes the park special to me personally is just that it's a, a unique combination of just magnificent scenery and natural resources. Um, and then we also have the very interesting history that we say, you know, you couldn't make up stuff like this. The stories themselves, the real stories, are the most interesting things. Right now in the Junior Ranger Center and the, the youth are able to come to this building and have interactive activities. They can pick up and touch a bear pelt. They can dress up like a gold miner. They can take this history and instead of learning about it in the classroom, they can live it by uh, becoming the gold miner, going on the adventure, playing with Victorian toys, doing what children at that time would have done. Tree. Where's a two trunk tree? The There's a two trunk tree right here, guys. Oh, Where's it on the map? I, I went on a summer camp that we developed, and that was just a really touching experience, as well as teach them. Some of the kids were talking with our archaeologist, Jen, and telling her that she has the best job in the world, the best office, and that was just a really cool experience. All of these buildings have gone away. What do you think would be left for us to find? Ruins. Well, yeah, but even those are gone. What else? Uh, like stuff that, were, that didn't decompose. Right. Oh. I really look back at my own experience. Uh, when I was eight years old, I so very clearly remember uh, visiting a national park and having a park ranger swear me in as a junior ranger. I wasn't given that badge, I had earned that badge. We also provide a walking tour out in Dai. It's about 10 miles out of town. It was a historic town during the gold rush as well. A boom town with about five to 8,000 people. It's the rival city of, of Skagway. Today, there's just one false front still standing and it's a beautiful forest. Most visitors that come to Skagway see the historic district in Skagway. And in that context, their interaction with natural resources will be the few swallows that they see flying around town, the ravens and the crows, 
they'll see the mountainside, so they'll they'll witness the ecosystems as a backdrop to the history that they're visiting. The park is special because of all the, the buildings that are here and mostly because of the people that are working here. Um, they make it a special place to be. Fire! Fire!